Major bug on Shen in the earlier round. Wait, let's take a look. There was a round where my Shen died instantly. Right here, I'm about to win the round and my Shen's full HP. All right. Look at this. Wait, that's actually a bug. Imagine if I like, lost LP for that. Look at it in, in quarter speed. Look at this. Hey. I like clutched that out by like one auto attack, but imagine if I died. I, I don't even know what could have caused it. Oh, it's Soju. Hello, Filthy Storm. Welcome. Wait, I just scouted. Story Weaver, Story Weaver, Story Weaver, Story Weaver, Story Weaver. What the heck? Alright, I will not play Story Weaver. I will not play Story Weaver. Wait, run back. Oh, I like Pandora's items here. I like pumping up. I'm down to just commit. I have pretty good items here. One guy's contesting me. I can wait a little bit. I can wait and see if I hit Duelist or if I hit Cog up. Cogma. Gargoyle Stone Plate's good for both Yasuo and Shogath. Let's just wait and see which one I hit, two star. If I play Yasuo, it's easy Gargoyle Warmogs. If I play Chogath, it's Gargoyle and then Nash's Kogma. Mm, I feel like I'm fine for it to be a duelist game. Oh wait, I think St. Fish is playing duelist. Oh yeah, he was previously looking like he was going to contest Kogma. I am down for you to play Duelist, and I will play my Cho'Gath. Yeah. Yeah, I'm down to sell. Let's pencil in the Cho'Gath build, or Kog'Maw build. Vintage. Okay, looks like I'm the only Kogma player. I almost saved the HP. No. Uh, I changed a tier here. I need Kogmas. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's tier or bow here. Bow for Nashers, but the tier is more important in my opinion because you really need this blue buff. You really need the blue buff and it requires two tiers. Might as well get one of them out of the way right now while we're loose streaking. If you took a bow, you could just finish the Nashers right now, but like, I'm not trying to win streak right now. Hello, Bedeedle. Thanks for gifting us up to Dan Dan Sama. How does Soju retain 10k plus viewers? That's insane. He's very good at what he does. Like, not just the TFT. He's very good at working an audience. If you, uh, if you smell me. Yeah, he's very good at working an audience. Uh, I don't know how to describe it, but if you just like watch Soju and then watch a random TFT streamer, you'll notice like a huge difference in like how fun it is to watch. There are like things you can do that just like make your stream more enjoyable to watch. Uh, and there's like a lot of subtle ways you can do it. And it's kind of fun. It's kind of like a competition to see like which streamer can do it the best. Uh, it's, there's like a wide array. It's like, you can up your production quality. You can play better. You can be sexy. Uh, you can make funny jokes. You can tell a good story. And I would say that the overall combination of what Soju does is usually pretty good. Something really interesting, like you could look at somebody's stream without seeing the viewer count and you could realistically predict how many viewers they're going to have. You could very realistically, uh, like if I saw someone streaming without their viewer count, if I watched them for five minutes, I could probably tell you very accurately 
uh, what their view count is. Assuming there's no major outliers, like they just started their stream or like a big raid. Okay, I'm not gonna open this yet. Okay, I do need to throw this round. Ah, uh, fuck. I was gonna force Kog'Maw, but I only have two Kogs so far. Usually I force Kog'Maw when I'm pretty confident that I'll hit, uh, like on the roll down, but I am not confident that I will hit on this roll down. Is this person a complete asshole? If not, they'll be under 100 viewers no matter what. That's not true at all. Am I an asshole? I don't think so. I hope not. I really hope not. I think I'm a nice guy. I don't think I'm perfect, but I think I'm a decent guy. It is true that in general, like being an asshole gets you views, but uh, it's not the only way. There, there are other ways. All right, guys, computer, calculate the odds of me hitting. I mean, I'm uncontested. I'm forcing no matter what here. I'll scroll down to like 32 and see. Wait, this roll-in's actually, this is actually going really well. Wait, I can do it. Mom, look at me, no hands. Um. I don't think this one's worth locking for. Come on. Come on, Albert. Think. I I think I have to sit. I'm, I'm like, I'm broke. That roll that was actually looking pretty sick for a while. I got stuck in that shop where I had like Nico and two Chogats and not enough bench space. I had to start giving up on things. Sucks that I have to give up on the Caitlyn. Caitlyn 3 is like actually pretty good late game. Okay, well, I have half an Asher's, half a Gunblade. From looking at the stats, I'm pretty sure that, uh, I'm pretty sure that, like, Nashers, Blue Buff, Gunblade is the best trio of items for Kog'Ma. Maybe the Gunblade could be swapped out for something else. Like, I don't think you need the Gunblade for the healing of your frontline. I think you need the Gunblade because your Kog'Ma, even at 3-star, can get killed by anything. Can I get a K? Oh. Wait. I'm down a win. Okay, then I should roll. I should roll. Give me a K. Never a K. Moment. Time to feast. I'm a psychopath. Wait, everybody else is a psychopath too. Everybody said nah, I'd win. Uh oh. There are gonna be some very unhappy people. Some very, very unhappy people. I kinda wanna even roll for this malphite. Oh, I shouldn't. Okay, I'll do it. I'm moving as fast as I can. Okay, this guy looks kind of strong. I'm gonna slam rod. I have to win. If I lose, I might just forfeit and save time. I'm at zero gold. I have to win. I have to win. This reminds me of the event that's like, predict if you're gonna win or lose for 14 gold. Okay, nice. Okay, and I get first pick. Okay, I will almost always take a bow here unless there's something crazy, like maybe a spat. Oh, bow on a Nautilus. Nice. I've been watching too much of BoxBox's YouTube videos. I expected a cool animation when they, he three-starred the Kog'Maw. Oh yeah. Well, hang on. Um, th th there are cool animations when I three-star. Yeah, there are. Um, you probably just like haven't, uh, You probably just haven't seen it. Um, I can do an instant replay for you. 
All right, everybody, pretend I hit the Kog'Maw again. <laughs> do, 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 do. Time to feast! Oh, shit, what the hell? Just like the YouTube videos. Imagine if I actually had, like, something really, uh, sketchy on my second monitor. Wait, do I have anything sketchy on my second monitor? I don't think so. I, uh... There was this thing that used to happen in streaming. Uh... There was this program. Basically, if you alt-tabbed, like, you see how, like, you can see, like, the name of my OBS window? If you alt-tab and your Skype showed, it would show your ID, and you you can never leak your Skype ID, because if Skype was, like, not safe, but Skype was, like, the thing before Discord. I know, don't you feel old? Skype? Moment. Skype was a thing before Discord. Uh, and if people found out your Skype ID, they could DDoS you. They could get your IP address and, like, cut off your connection. So you had to, like, hide it. So if you alt-tabbed and, like, accidentally showed your Skype, you were in trouble. A lot of streamers back in the days uh, would lose their, um, like, they would, like, get a lot of streams, like, canceled because uh, people would just, like, DDoS for fun. So, uh, there was this program called Stream Privacy where you could tell it to, like, hide certain applications. So that way you could, like, I could have my Skype, I could have, like, porn open and no one could see it, even if it was on my main monitor. It would just, like, make it invisible from the stream. But something that the Stream Privacy program did was that it, it would randomly show, like, glitchy flashes of what's on your second monitor or even, like, what was on your second monitor. So, like, one time I opened my email and then I uh, closed it and then later on in my stream, if you happen to pause at the right time, you could read all of my emails because it's just like showed up on the screen for a second for like one frame. So now like I have this habit built in. If I do anything remotely scandalous, like check my email or even worse, uh, pog off stream or uh, on a more standard note, like if I watch porn, not that I watch porn, I've never heard, of, I don't even know what porn is. Uh, I only heard about it from Annie. But if I were to have done that, then I would have to restart my computer entirely to like flush the cache or whatever, so that I wouldn't accidentally, um, you wouldn't get like a, a frame of it in, in the stream. You know what I mean? But yeah, uh, like, don't worry about, like, I, I, I personally, I personally don't watch porn, all right? Like, uh, not me. Uh, that that that's all I any. Uh, I watch sports in my free time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I watch sports. Uh, the good ones, like female wrestling. Oh, I have a gunplay. Name three sports if you actually watch sports. I can name three sports. Uh, soccer, football, and the rest of them. Yeah, checkmate. You, you didn't think I actually had the knowledge to back it up. Soccer is football. Oh shit, really? <laughs> Wait, no way, right? Soccer is football? Oh yeah, yeah, in other countries. Sorry, I'm, I'm like incredibly uncultured and I don't know what life goes on outside of my neighborhood. I only know about, like, the immediate things that happen in my neighborhood. Like how earlier my neighbor stole my Uber Eats order. Well, it, it, they didn't steal it. Uh, it was this weird situation where uh, the Uber Eats driver, like, delivered it to my next door neighbor for some reason instead of us. And then the neighbor just, like, took it. I was like, huh, food. Cool. And then they just ate it. And I noticed, like, three minutes after it got delivered, I was like, I was like, huh, our, our Uber Eats is taking a long time, even though it said it was already here. And then we realized uh, from checking cameras that our it was delivered to our neighbors. And our neighbors was like, cool, free food. And then they just took it. Um, It's probably blistering strikes. I don't have any anti-heal. <laughs> Wait, I just realized someone could have gotten Rick and Bob here and, like, won the game. Oh, wow, this is so nice. The the set your win streak thing paid off really hard. I'm the only one who ended up keeping the streak. Everybody else lost theirs. I don't know how you're supposed to position this. I just like built a house around my Kog'Maw. <laughs> it's literally like a house, a fortress. It's so satisfying. Just like let Kog'Maw do everything. 
protect the Kagiwagi. Call the cops on your neighbor? No, I'm not that petty. They definitely should have, like, um... When we found out that the neighbors, like, took our order, uh, we, like, knocked on their door, knowing that they were home, and then they just didn't answer. I think they realized what happened, and then, like... Instead of, like, saying sorry, they just didn't answer. Because, uh, this all happened, like, it spent a few minutes. We thought our order was delivered, we are like, huh, it's not here. We wait, like, three more minutes, it's like, wait, it was here. Like, the, the Uber driver, like, sends a picture of the food, it's like, wait, that's our neighbor's door. And we knock on their door, they... And then they just, like, didn't answer. So, like, we all know what happened. They know what happened. They probably just, like, chose to deal with it in a strange way. And, uh, I'm out of my food. I will just stand there aggressively next time the Uber driver is about to give food. Actually, I can't do that midstream, though. So that one's gonna be tough. Every time my food gets stolen, it's because uh, I, I order food in the middle of the stream, like, six hours in. And then I finish my TFT game. And then come like five minutes later and then like someone stole it by then it's really sad so i i started like sending annie out to wait there hello reggie the mouse thanks to the prime it's actually such a good game for me nobody can spike very hard because it's all silver augments for five rounds, Darius transforms. Uh, that's not that useful for me. Is there like a good legendary Some unit? Call me evil. Shall I prove them right? I mean, I guess I want Huey. Yeah, I guess I want Huey. And like Azir. Okay, guys, be honest. Is the Kogma Fortress positioning optimal? It isn't this so nice. It's like a quarter circle, perfectly enveloping my Kogma. It's a shield. And then it expands outwards, it's so satisfying. Cool. And the pumping up is actually stacking up really nicely. My Kog'Maw's a machine gun. Envelop the Cog. Uh, Every river ends in me. I got an Orn. Is Orn in the build? Wait, is Orn in the build? Like, I haven't bookmarked, but I don't remember if he's actually in there. Wait, I, I actually need to go look this up. I, I don't remember. Oh no. Oh fuck, I rolled an Orn. Crap, I got dizzy. Box Box is a very ambitious Caitlyn 3. It's gonna happen, okay? I'm gonna hit Caitlyn 3 on 9 and the crowd goes poggers. I'm not kidding. Okay? Yeah, so what if I only have 5 right now? It's gonna happen. Go Wukong in for attack speed. No, I need 5 Mythic. Okay, I'm gonna look up the end game of the build. Kogma. Okay, according to this guide, it's just this. Oh, what the? There is no end game. Wait, I got a Huey! No, Huey! Stick to the plan. Guys, this is how I'm gonna get my Caitlyn through. The last time I ate a plant was never. This is how I'll get the Caitlyn. Wait, let's see, let's see the house position again. Wait! Oh no! Oh no! The my the way is locked out of the house! Somebody let him in! It's cold out there! Oh no! It's Yone? I keep on missing the Yone. Oh no. My streak! Okay, I actually kinda got rolled. For a showdown. 
Thought Keepers. Is that ever a raid boss? And I go for four Behemoth. Is that real? Your strong stream begins. I feel like it could be funny. No. Wait, Udir! Guys, I got an Udir. I need raid boss. The spirits I feel closest. Oh no. No. Also, my house is broken. Do I actually, I don't think I need this orn. I'm pretty sure I just need Econ. I also don't even think I need Udir, because I already have Malphite 3. Wait, am I missing a Caitlyn? Was my Hue supposed to have printed a Caitlyn last round? Oh, no, 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 it did print, it did print. Wait, uh, I just want tank items. But yeah, I'm just gonna reroll. Okay, what are the odds that both of these roll into exactly Hue? Wait. Is that a Caitlyn? <laughs> Hue! Oh. Not bad. Okay, you think I'm supposed to JG the, the Hue? No Hue. I'm JGing my Caitlyn 3. I'm actually so healthy because of the early win streak. That's awesome. Wait, everybody, house formation. Oh no! Who locked Caitlyn out? This keeps happening to her. Okay, it sucks that I face this guy right as he hit. I definitely cannot outscale this bard. Wait, it's actually kind of close. Not bad. What's up? Uh, I think so. Up for a showdown? That's not a gun. This is a gun. Oh. Wait, this is perfect. We have what? Extra boba? Hell yeah. Wait, hang on. Oh, I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna say it. Have to prepare the slide. <clears throat> Hell mega heck yeah. Those components actually are perfect. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. All right, this is where the clutch Caitlyn snipe comes in. Boom, headshot. Get in the stair. <gasps> Wait, guys! I'm so sorry, I forgot. I forgot. <clears throat> Can we go back in time to like 20 seconds ago? I just combined the Caitlyn 3. Yeah, I just combined the Caitlyn 3. Do, 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 do. I knew you would do that. Wait, I don't think Caitlyn says that line actually. Who says I knew you would do that? My face. Not Caitlyn. Should I play 7 Mythic? I feel like it's not that good. Oh, nice one shot from Caitlyn. Yeah, I feel like 5 Mythic with synergies is better. 
All right, I'll just conjure up a way. Oh. Be my Oh fuck, it's the bard guy. Wait, I have an idea. Kogma, you're getting kicked out of your house. You're being kicked out by Caitlyn. Why? Because Caitlyn, with Ascension and Giant Slayer, can actually maybe one-shot this bard. I'm not even kidding. I'm not, I would not be surprised if Caitlyn 3, with Ascension, one-shots the bard right here. Oh, but, wrong one. No, it's fine, it's fine. Try again, try again. Here's Ascension. Boom! Oh wait, actually, that was sick. Finish him. Pew! What a shot! Stare. Wow, the Skatlin throw is actually very impressive. Alright, well, I mean, what to do now? Hello, Soju. Alright. Let's finish this. Kogma regained ownership of his house so that Caitlyn can snipe the Kale. That Kale is the only thing that could let Soju win. As long as Caitlyn let, stacks up attack speed, and then with Ascension, Giant Slayer, and her ult, she can actually just one-shot. Come on, Caitlyn, try again, try again. Here it is. There. Oh, man, no Swinter. What a good game. Hit the Kogma, got the win streak thing where it's like, nah, I'd win. And we were the only one who kept it, so we just got like plus 20 gold for that. Got to go nine, fully kept my board out. The augments line up really nicely, too. Great combat augments. We also like kind of just hit, right? I ended up with. You guys laughed at me for the Caitlyn, but she was actually the reason we won. Getting the Hoi and then printing four Caitlyns. That was actually the game winning play. Otherwise, I would not have had the damage. You laugh at the guy who said ambitious Caitlyn 3, but she was real. She loves me. She loves me. All right, I'm gonna hit diamond. Yeah.